Hey, what's going on guys? It's Caleb and today I have a pretty quick After Effects tutorial and we're going to be going over a recently I've seen it a lot in a lot of music videos. It's a kind of like hand drawn uh, painting effect. I see it in a lot of music videos and the best example I could find uh, was from Justin Bieber's What Do You Mean lyric video. So if we watch it through here, uh, the technique you're going to be seeing is these little lines being drawn on. Um, Whoever made it in this one did it kind of like, did it a little, a little too, in my opinion, a little too randomly. Uh, as you can see, there's a lot of random things flashing on the screen. Um, I think this effect is best used in moderation. You take a look, a lot of things are happening on the screen. I mean, it's cool. Um, I don't even know what that's supposed to be, but yeah, like outlining random things inside of your shot. Uh, that's basically what the effect is. I'm gonna show you how to get that today. Uh, the thing is about this effect is that it requires a little bit of patience. You need to be pretty persistent with what you're trying to do because we're going to be going frame by frame and animating. So, um, yeah, just basically be patient. So, I grabbed a futuristic one take video, and the link to this will be in the description. It was shot by Jacob Owens, I believe the guy's name is. Uh, he's pretty, pretty good, uh, pretty good director, pretty good guy. Uh, so, I grabbed his little video here, and we're just going to be painting over it and doing uh, that little effect. So. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your music video, and I prefer to do this on a, uh, just render out the entire video and then do the painting inside of the actual rendered video, and then just re-render it whenever you're done with it. I find it a lot easier to do. All right, so you just double click on your clip, and that's going to bring it into this layer panel. And the reason why that we need it here is because if you go to your paintbrush, which is in your uh, toolbar at the top, you go control B, pull that up. You can't do anything with it, and it's going to give you a warning, actually. It's going to say, use the paint, roto brush, and refine edge tools in a layer panel. So when we double click on this, we bring it to the layer panel, and now we're able to draw whatever we want on it. And something very important to make sure this effect goes right is that in your paint, you're going to want to make sure that you change the duration from, I believe it's on constant at first, but you got to change it to single frame. And what this means is if we paint something here and we move ahead one more frame, it will not be there anymore so that we can continue painting on and getting that hand drawn uh, painting on effect. And there's other options here too. You can do custom and write on and write on basically means if I write a bunch of crap on, it's gonna go away. But then when you play it back, that stuff that I wrote on will continue to be there. Uh, so that's pretty cool. But for the effect we're looking for today, we're just gonna be doing a single frame. So pull it open, there you go, cool. And now, you get the basic idea of what we're doing. We're gonna go through frame by frame and we're just going to outline our subject. So uh, our subject is uh, futuristic here. So we're just gonna simply just, we'll do like a, an outline starting around the arms and we'll just kind of draw that, go ahead of frame, draw right here, go ahead of frame, draw around here. Just kind of, just getting that little outline, you know, so we go back and see the effects kind of painting on there. Let's keep going. It's around there. There we go. I'm just going to outline just to where it reaches like the top of his hat, just so we're not going forever. But I do want to get a little, a little, uh, oops, get a little idea of what we're dealing with here. All right. Pull up that hand tool, control B to bring back the paintbrush. There we go. And the thing about this effect too is that it doesn't need to be absolutely perfect either. You can do kind of like messy outlines and it kind of it kind of helps the aesthetic of the look. Um, so you, the thing is they don't have to be perfect lines, you know, trace as best as you can if you need to. You can also get a little messy with it because if I'm uh, outlining the dude, and then in the next outline, I do it kind of messily, like kind of get around there and kind of get some extra curves that are a little unnecessary. It might look kind of cool. So there, and we'll do one more outline just to get an idea of the effect. So one more, and there we go. All right, so let's go back a few frames. So if we take a look at it now, you can see it starts here and it kind of animates around them, right? And if you were to continue to do this effect like through the entire thing, it would look really cool because it would kind of look like you spent a really long time just simply hand animating everything and going through and tracking his movements with this uh, paint effect. It's pretty cool. 
Uh, as you can see, the stroke kind of just follows them around and builds around them. And you can do other things too. Like I'm working on a little music video right now where, um, so like the guy in the shot moved his arms kind of cool like that. Like if you watch Futur Futuristic, his arms kind of pop out like that. Uh, so the guy did uh, something like that. And so I made the lines kind of come off his arms. So there were lines that got built up and then they kind of like, after the shot, they kind of shot up and then built words. So from the line shooting off the arms, it kind of like built an M and then, you know, so look kind of cool. Um, and there's just many different ways you can get creative with this. Uh, but that's pretty much the entire effect, you know, just very simple. Um, hope it helped you out. There you go. The music video write-on effect. Now I will see you guys in the next tutorial.